Hi guys, it's Sarah, the Northwood Stitcher. Just thought I'd do another video and show you some of the things that I found at some local secondhand shops and thrift stores here. Um, we have a very interesting space in a town over that has hosted a place where you can just bring your un unwanted or partially used stuff as a donation. They turn around and sell it to raise money to rebuild an old mill. And uh, you give what you can afford, which is awfully kind because sometimes you look at something and it's got a water stain on it or something and you're in a store and they've priced it for three fifty, but you're like, this is like a quarter 50 cents because it's a little battered. But it, it's awfully great space in there. So I, I hit that place yesterday and I did find a 1986 Paul Levon leaflet, Leisure Arts. And this is a little old and tattered, but it, it's in great shape. I'm very excited to find something like that. These are hard to find at times. I've seen them on eBay. But I like the details on this because they even did wallpaper. You've got a floral wallpaper on the walls. That's a cute stitch. Also found a uh, Homespun Elegance. This is from 1990, I think. 1990. Cinnamon Stick Christmas 5. So there's a couple of different uh, different versions or collections out there. I like the folk art appearance of some of these simple stitches. Not to mention, you know, they're a f relatively fast stitch. You can do a lot of different things with them and they're great for gift giving. Let's look at this really. What a cute old timey Santa. That'll be fun to do. That's a black and white chart. I think the Paul Levon is a color chart. When I went to a Goodwill store, I found this. This is actually a coaster. It's made in Scot Scotland. Tartan thistles. Brand new in package. It's an acrylic coaster base. I have not had any luck with these things. So strange thing happened going aisle to aisle. Found a $2 frame, perfectly square. How cute would that be? With just a patterned paper from my stash here to mount this in this frame. I could go as far as painting the frame if I wanted to, a white or a light purple, but I think I'll leave it the wood color. And then I can save that acrylic coaster for a photo. It could be a lot better to use a photo in there. Anything I stitch to try to make into either the round acrylic coasters or the square acrylic coasters. A lot of fussing and fighting with a thing. I've just not had much luck. But what a steal. I think this one was two or three dollars. The frame was two dollars. That was a lot of fun to find. And then I found something. And it just spoke to me. It said, take me home and stitch me. <gasps> right? I don't, why is this blank? I mean, did it used to have something on it? I, I don't know. It needs something. It's not a particularly fancy or expensive. Made in China. Ooh la la. How exotique. <laughs> Uh, the top doesn't have a good um, seal to it or anything. Beautifully clean inside and out. No staining, no crazing. Just needs to be washed. But if I could find a little oval stitch and then put just a little bit of ribbon trim or cording to maybe hide the seam, I think that would be so precious. I love it. This was $6.00 which is a little much for me to spend on a project, but I just couldn't pass it up because it was speaking to me on the shelf. You gotta listen. So who knows when I'll get to that project? Lord knows I don't need another project right now. I also have an unboxing to do. I told you my last video, might've been the video before that, 
but I was getting ready to do my house of Christmas. <gasps> Where did I put it? It might be downstairs. Hello. Yeah. Anyway, <coughs> I wanted to use a DMC green. My husband said, ah, you'll not have matching dye lots and it'll look variegated. You can see where one starts and one ends. He's got a point because it's happened to me before. So I initially thought I would go buy some spooled silky. Instead, we did some shopping on DMC. He said, well, why don't you look at the DMC cones? They're really expensive. They weren't on sale. So I thought, Ugh, why don't I just get a case of this floss that I want? I think it was 986. So playing on the website with my husband, he found a sale. And he said, well, let's get this too. <laughs> What am I going to say? No, it's too much. I said, oh, that's a great deal. <laughs> this is fun. In this box, I don't even know what he ordered. It was, there's a return label in case I don't like it. Always. 120 skein assortment. So this was the great deal. It's a pillow. And if you sleep on it, patterns will magically sew themselves. I wish. But what a great assortment of colors. Beautifully packaged. 120 skeins. I think it was a 20% sale. It might have been a little more than that. But it was an impressive amount. Great. And this is what I wanted. <coughs> I call this a case. I don't know what the official word is. But um, it's a case of the floss that I wanted, my 986. So I wasn't sure how many, it didn't tell me in the pattern how many skein it calls for. It could be 15 skeins for all I know. This is 12. Yeah, so it's 12 in a case. So this should be good to have two cases of this color, which means I can now search for the fabric, get the fabric ready fully kit it and be done. Well, it looks like he got me something else. This is the DMC uh, Collectors Needleton, Needleton Collectors Tin. This is really cool. I don't know why he didn't keep this for a gift. Sorry about the noise, guys. I'll try to keep it down to a minimum. Cause I do like to reuse the bubble wrap. Oh, wow. 38 needles. Various sizes. And a very cool collector's box. Wow. Is that a me? And a little magnet. That's cool. Oh, wow. So there's a nice little cushion in here to keep the packages organized. So it looks like there's a multi-pack of 18 to 22, a 22, a 26, a size 24, and then 
a 24 needle 135 number gold needles. 20, yeah, okay, so they're gold needles. I guess that's the size. And then 7, 8, 9, and 24. I have to study this. I'm fascinated. I, I have a hard time figuring out um, sizes of needles unless I keep them in the pack. So this this will be something fun to play with and figure out what to do. I do like that little magnet. They put a magnet at the top. I can't get it off. So it's pretty strong. Oh, there we go. Just a little bar. It'll probably bite you. Very, very cool. Oh, I can't wait to play with that. I'll have to film my little uh, table that I have next to my stitch chair. I think I'll organize some needles that I have and put them all in this and put this by my chair. This is really cool. Ah, oh, very nice. 38 needles. I, I tend to warp or break them. They just get bent, so you do need to replace your needles occasionally. I've also had some just develop a burr, and for whatever reason, it just starts to shred the actual um, thread. It likes, it, and there's no way to get that burr off, so I don't know if it's a, um, a needle that was made incorrectly, but I just get rid of those. And whenever I throw out a needle, um, I don't know how you guys do it, but I weave it through a piece of paper and then fold it over and then throw it out. I'm, I'm worried that it'll get lost in the garbage and then end up hitting somebody on the side of their leg or something. So that's what I do. Also, if I break a glass, which I, I do a lot, um, a glass or anything uh, sharp, I put it in a paper bag and then put it in the garbage. And it bounced off my leg once and cut my leg pretty badly. Oh, what fun. I get to play with new floss today. Oh, and we should do the spinning wheel. It is now April. It is April 2nd. And let me check to see if everybody's got their names in. As I said, the first video in April, I'll do the giveaway. Checking for any last minute entries. Nope. Okay. So this is a really cool app that I have. It's, it's just called Wheel. You can see it right there. Wheel. <laughs> I downloaded it to put all of my projects in it. And if I really didn't know what to work on or if I needed motivation, I have a lot of whips. I just hit the wheel and off it goes and it tells me what to do. And I added on one wheel whether I should do carding or whether I should do stitching because I do need to do some what's called what to stitch your craft today. This wheel is called fairies. All right, let's hit the wheel. I need to get a reflection. Ready? Who? Cassie's Beach. Congratulations. You get the strawberry chart. That's so cool. I love the little noise it made too. So I will leave you a comment and ask you to drop me an email with your deets and I'll mail out that chart to you. That's so cool. Where is it? Where is it? Congratulations. Cute little strawberries. I'm going to do another giveaway. Um, I do have some other plans for that. I'm also trying to um, get some ideas together to do a show your progress video. Somebody's asked uh, about some charts that I have. They have a similar chart. 
And I'm hoping that when I'm stitching on mine and they're stitching on yours, they'll send, they're stitching on theirs, they'll send me a progress photo and we can show what colors and fabric they've done, what colors and fabric I've done, almost like a show and tell segment. And that way we can get uh, great ideas from each other in one video rather than trying to figure out which video they saw these ideas in. We could have a couple of different, almost like a stitch along, but not, I don't need the pressure of trying to finish something in a certain time frame. I'd like to just do it when I want to do it. So if you're interested in that, uh, drop me a line, maybe mention some of the patterns that I've talked about in my segments, and we can figure out when you'd like to send me a picture. It doesn't need to be a finished picture, just what you're using, how you're liking it. I think a show your progress kind of segment would be fun. I was fishing around in some drawers up here and like the teapot, I found another great idea, but I, another project I haven't finished. Do you remember seeing these? Uh, I find them at Christmas time. They're packaged up as like a single use cookie mix or I don't know what else they sell, but brownies maybe. And they're really cute. This is quite a substantial little cast iron uh, pan, but I thought, wouldn't this be cute with a little cross stitch in it and decorate the top and just hang it like that? So I saved it and I still haven't put it together because like I needed another project, but you know, think of other useful items that you might come across either on clearance or at the dump house. I find things everywhere. <clears throat> I've also seen, it's really cool. I don't know if anybody's done one. The antique irons. Sometimes they do a cross stitch to fit the iron front and people use them as door stops. That's so nice. <clears throat> I was also looking for some thread systems, I guess, when you're doing a project or storing your floss. A lot of people are using these metal book rings and they just pop open and you can get different sizes. The smaller the book ring, they also call them binder rings, metal binder rings, if you want to do a search. The better I think the clasp is, the larger one. I don't know, I have a lot of problems. This one keeps popping open. But this is handy because then you can hang it up somewhere where you're working. And you can either use some floss tags to put on the binder rings. Or if you don't want the solid binder rings, People also use these wire keychains. I'll pull one out that's already stuck together. And it's a flexible ring. They come like this. I think these are these are six inch ones. And they actually connect together. And it's just a coated cable. It has a male and a female end, and you can just stick them together or attach two of them. I don't think I did that right. You need to have a screw in to screw in. Yeah, now it's working. <laughs> and you can make a bigger hoop out of two of them. So I bought six inch. This is pretty big. This is now probably a four inch hoop ring. It's very flexible. It stays put, doesn't open up. And... But when you have to get um, your floss cards on or off, you just put them on once, pull your strings from that. You can get stainless steel or you can get colored, coated ones. I've got a multi-pack. I think I've got reds, greens, black, orange. There's also some stainless steel in here. And it's just a rolling screw lock system. Well, this is pretty cool. <laughs> I try to keep everything in one spot and 
still the struggle is real. Still, still working on that. Quilters fabric clips are really handy too. I use these a lot when I'm doing framing or mounting onto foam board. And the way they're designed is one end or one edge is flat and one is curved and it's a really tight grip but these are very handy and they're quilters fabric clips i think you can get about 40 for four dollars on amazon a lot of different websites sell them unfortunately everybody uses a different name but i think if you put uh, quilters clips or just fabric clips will pop up. But I have way too many. I bought a hundred. I probably shouldn't have. I would have been fine with 20. But very useful, particularly if you're gluing something and you want to clamp it and dry it. Um, it's not too tight. It doesn't leave a mark on your fabric. Very handy to have. Very useful tool. I also started trying the anchor spooled flosses. Now this is a six strand floss. It is the cotton. I think these are about 79 cents each in the local craft stores. It is 10.9 yards. So you get a lot more than you do with a single strand of DMC or single skein of DMC. DMC is 8.7 yards. And I know these are over a dollar. Um, I'm not quite sure how much they are. I guess it varies if you get them on sale or not. But the spool is really handy. And, you know, I've got a couple of basic colors to test them out. And I have to say, I do like it. So they are nice to work with. I'm going to go through my list here. I think what I need to do is go get some of my whips and give you guys a look-see. So, yeah, I'll go do that. Hold on. Hi, guys. So I thought I would share some of my works in progress, um, projects that have been long in the working. But uh, we'll get it together and show you some stuff. I don't know where I just put it. I just had it. Ah. I have... This cute little container that I got at a thrift store is a fabric top box. And what I keep in here is a project. Very strange collection of just bits of Ada. I save all of my little scraps off of my projects when I cut it to fit. And these tiny, tiny little pieces will be mounted on little spools. They're so cute. Unfortunately, I bought a package of 50, so now I feel the urge to finish all 50. I think I have probably four or six done. But isn't that a sweet little spool? I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet because I can do whatever I'd like with them. I have figured out that these are done with two strands and the red. I prefer it with one strand, so you can actually see the pattern a lot more clear. It would be pretty cute if I made a little stack to make a bigger ornament, hang it somehow that way. Or I can keep some of the smaller ones for a smaller tree. But what I've been doing is I take my water-based stain that you can get at most craft stores where the acrylic paint's kept. This one is an oak water-based stain by Folk Art. I stain the little spools, let them dry, which is a little bothersome because I have to only do one end at a time. So this one's naked, that's done. And then I stitch and glue the cross stitch down. And then I cover up the edges you don't have to with a little band of quarter inch I think that's quarter inch ribbon yep and I, I love the pattern so I'm just doing it over and over again with some of the bigger scraps this is an 18 count 
I just do a whole bunch while I'm sitting and then cut them up. So that will be a long time in the making. I'll just pick away at that. Oh, I'll have to the scrap out. Some other works in progress that I've started. I've actually joined a works in progress challenge to see how many I can get done this year. I've registered six. I think the goal is to complete at least three. And then I think there's a prize. That is on the Soulful Stitchers Facebook page. I think it's closed though now. But I have other things in this box before I show you. This is another idea of what to do with a cross stitch doily. I'm not a kind of person who's gonna leave doilies around on my tables, particularly because I don't like to dust. These get dusty, so I put this one under glass. <laughs> it's much better under glass. Put a decorative craft paper behind it. And I think it's just a really great finish. I could have filled in some more, but what I really wanted the focal point to be was that it was a butterfly on lace, and that's the focal point. This, I put information on the back, is a butterfly chart from an August 2001 issue of the magazine, The Cross Stitcher, and I did this in 2020, and it's 100% cotton doily. I think I got the cotton doilies on a clearance years ago. I probably have a few more around, and um, I'm just doing them up. I gave one to a friend, I know that, because I just love how this came out. <clears throat> this was an easy mount because it's got the tab backing. You just pry the tabs open, take out the back, and then I put that. That's an acid-free craft paper, so that's a good way to mount it. And I think what I did, not remembering, behind just the butterfly is either a spot of glue or it's just pressed and it's just not going to go anywhere because it's so pressed in there. So it's happy. Happy, happy. Oh, this is a cool work in progress. I started this years ago. This is a book by Linda Bird, Berry Basket Sampler. This is a 2001. It's got strawberries, blackberries, and blueberries. And then, of course, the sampler. I want to do all of it. I just love how that looks. With, especially with the little bunnies. So in my little bag here, I have it all kitted up, ready to go. I have done two of the towels. So I've got a blueberry. That's the full towel length. So these are the towels with just the, I think it's a four by six area to stitch in. So the Ada is there. I don't know how well that shows up in the video. And I've done the strawberries. Two thousand sixteen. Yeah, I've had this for a while. <laughs> oh, this one was two thousand sixteen, two thousand seventeen. I had hopes I would do one one a year. Hasn't happened. So my goal is to do the blackberries in short order. And then maybe I can start the sampler. So I just think that's a sweet stitch. So it's all kitted up in here, except for the fabric to do the sampler. Sorry for the zippy noises. Oh, this is a cutie. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I have... Yeah, I just have my working coffee in here. Oh, that's not even worth showing. It's only got six stitches in it. It's Thomas the turkey. I mean, you guys might know this. Not Forgotten Farm. Sorry for the teaser, but I'm not. 
I'm not even, it's not worth showing. It's got seven stitches in it. I'll talk to you later about it. That's a nah. This is an okay. This is a prairie schooler. This is book number 156, Boo to You. I'm doing all of those ornaments for my Christmas, my Christmas, my Halloween tree. I love how retro these colors are and the designs. They did a great job with us. Not sure how I'm gonna finish them off. I only got the first three done. Isn't that great? And also in here, I think, doo -doo -doo. yeah, we've got quite a pile. <clears throat> Those are all my working copies. Like I said, I like to blow it up on my copier so I can actually see them a lot better. This is another prairie schooler. I don't, I don't have it handy. I wish I knew which one it was, but I've done a, an assortment of them. So I've got a pumpkin. I've got a devil. He's really spooky. I've got a great little owl. I just put some metallic in his ears. Boy, is that not gonna show? That's oh, not gonna show. Hmm. Man on the moon. Little scarecrow, pumpkin scarecrow. I love his bow tie. And a witch. I don't know why I did this on such a big piece of fabric, but now I can just cut it down and I'll use the scraps for, I don't know, more spools, notebook. That says, uh-oh. But I'm so excited to start working on these again and get these done for Halloween. So I will share how I finish them when I get started. So if I've got three, I, well, almost three completed, then I'll have another five to do. I have to figure out, am I gonna do four on the top? Hmm. Yeah, so it's a total of eight. What else is in here? See if I have a finished pattern of this. I do not. It's a Stitch Rovia. I don't have a finished picture to show you. Mm. Well, I didn't plan that very well. Nope. Hmm. On this little clipboard, though, I did find I had shown you the uh, cross stitch with Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen. So I did just find out who that was by. Let me pull that out again so I can show you. And we can talk about loud noise. So this little guy is a la -dee da Copyright, let's see, Lori Markovic. Lori at la -dee da So it must be a la -dee da design. It's called And Rudolph. If you guys want to look that up. He 
You can do it in any colors you'd like. Yeah, I can't find the Stitch Rovia picture. Well, that's not going to happen, is it? Sorry, guys. I can't show you my working pattern because it's a graph. It is in color, but you know the rules. Can't show it. I really thought it was in here. That's the problem. Sometimes I separate things when I shouldn't. See if it's deep in the actual um, stitch bag here. Boy, I'm a hot mess today. No, it's not. So much for that idea. Oh well. Stay tuned. Let me grab some more things to do. Wanna do's. I got these great little shopping totes. I guess they're for your groceries when you put them in the back of the car. I found these on Amazon. I think there was a package of two. Might have been a package of four because I do have three or four of them around here. Very handy. Wow, this one's gorgeous. I gotta show you this one. Some of these I have put with their fabrics, so it's a little confusing in my box of tricks here. Orchard Basket. This is a Diane Authors. I love the frame that they did on this. I think it's a pretty timeless piece. This is a, what year is it? I don't think they're going to tell me what year it is. No, they're not. But it has probably 20 colors. The chart comes in DMC, Anchor, and JP Coats conversion. I am going to stitch it on an 18 count ivory, which I think is a nice choice. And let's see, when I do it on 18 count, I'm gonna do it over one uh, with a four inch border to frame properly. It's gonna be 17 by 16, according to my notes here. So that I'm gonna pull all the stuff for. And then I've got this cute little Bent Creek Uber Shamrock. I think we can see it okay. The the called for fabric, I wasn't crazy about, but I knew I wanted to do it on a, like a type of green. So I chose a Lugana Laurel Green, which I think is really pretty. I got this from Needleworkers Delight, I think, because that tag looks familiar. And I also have um, a 16 count opalescent called Solo, which is a, nice green opalescent sparkle. So I was going to pull the threads and hold them up, see what I think, but I think I'm going to go with a laurel green on that one. That's not going to be a complicated one. It's uh, fairly, fairly small. This is so cool. Who did this? Moon and Spider Apple Cider Needlework Press. I'm probably going to do this in a silver metallic or crinic. And the rest I'm just going to do in the called for colors. This is a 2013 needlework press design. I wish I remembered where I got it, but look at the fabric I found. It's just perfect. It's called Halloween Haunting. You see the purples and the yellows and the green? What? Yeah, 
I'm really excited about it. 18 count, Halloween haunting. It's a Zweigart. It really looks like a Needleworkers Delight price tag and the way they had it hanging. I, I did a pilgrimage down to the store in New Jersey and with some friends of mine, we just had a, a day. It was wonderful. And when I do go to a local needle workshop or any needle workshop, I grab a bunch of my charts that I have that I haven't kitted up yet. And that's how I try to match things up. I don't want to go down empty handed because I'll just come back with more projects and maybe more puzzles of how to match what fabric to what chart. So I like to bring my charts and figure it out. Oh, and I don't have the fabric for this. <clears throat> but I would encourage you guys to go to Etsy and look up Stitchy Princess. This is the winter forest design that she did. Isn't that impressive? I think that's Baba Yaga. She's got some gorgeous stuff. Um, her name is Katerina. She's really, really nice. Ask her any questions, she'll answer you right away. Just, just incredible designs. Yeah, I did a, when I downloaded what I bought, I did one in color, one in black and white, because I wasn't quite sure how easy it would be to look at. I don't usually do a pattern in color, because I like to highlight. Oh, and another book to look for. Let's see if I can do this. Let me show you. There it is. I keep dreaming about this one. I don't I don't know why. I've got to just I have to stop the world and do it. This is Heartstring Samplery. I've had this for so long. I've got my love to keep me warm. It doesn't have a date on the back. And it's not going to do anything, Sarah. Pull it out. Show it proper. The snow is snowing. The wind is blowing. I've got my love to keep me warm. Just watch those circles form. I've got my love to keep me warm. I can't stop thinking about this. I lost it for a little bit in here found it. Now I know where it is and I keep having dreams. So I think that means I have to start it sooner rather than later. There is no date on here. Butter sponge. I know I've had it forever and ever because my dad actually bought me this fabric for it. He bought me a 28 count Ivory Laguna, <clears throat> 27 inches by 36, because the stitch count is 123 by 23. It's a, going to be a 17 by 25 inch with a four inch border on this 28 count. So that's gonna be fine. And I still have to see if I have all the called for threads. Okay, you're going front and center, honey. I promise you I'll be back. I can do this. I can show you these. Now, this is a hardcover cross-stitch book. I get these sent to me because I have a subscription of just cross-stitch. <clears throat> so they say it's included with your subscription, but what it really is is a chance to give for them to give you the responsibility of paying them in easy installments or one fell swoop. A very expensive hardcover book. Um, I think this is about $48 now or $52. It says on the back it's $39.95. Sometimes you can get them on clearance for $2.99. This one's worth Googling. This is, what year? Let me give you the year so you can look for it. 
2017. A cross stitch Christmas joyful tidings. Wait till you see the patterns in here. We're not going to go through the whole book. I'd like to have a story time and just read to you, but <clears throat> I'll just show you my bent down tabs here. This is called Walking in a Winter Wonderland. <laughs> Very zenful. Tab down the chart. Then I tabbed... Where are you? Two turtle doves. Oh, here's a fun one. I didn't tab this one. Funky Christmas. But the colors in it are incredible. And you see how they just kind of shredded the edges? Then they mounted it on probably a canvas. And I wouldn't be surprised if those brads were really those push brads and then you spread them out on the back, use them for paper. That would be easy enough to do. Ah, I tabbed this one. Two turtle doves. And that tag is done on perforated paper with just slits to put the um, ribbon through. So this is why I save all the little pieces of my perforated paper. <laughs> you never know. Look at these towels and this little train. Great colors, very vibrant. Okay, so that was two turtle doves. I had that tab down. What did I do? Ah, yes. This is a collection of nutcrackers or just salt? No. A trio of nutcrackers. Again, it's the colors that really attracted me. Some of them I just can't hold up because there's a graph on it. Oh, I've got this tab. This is called Elegant Merriment. Must be. I don't know if, which one it's referring to. That just looks like a fun stitch. This would be fantastic to do. Get those raw wood frames from the craft stores that are very flat. They don't have this bevel to them. And if you can get one wide enough, then you can go to the hardware store and you can actually get hooks that mount to the front of the frame with two screws. Most of them are two, some of them are three. <clears throat> Make your own key holder or Leash holder, be a great gift. Must be a sweet little pillow. Yeah, that was called Dear Scene, Elegant Merriment. So those are my wanna do's. I can't call those whips by any means. Well, I haven't started them. This one's really cute. Santa's workshop. Look at the details on the dollhouse and the tree. I don't like how this is framed. I think that's that frame is way too small for everything going on in there. I myself would probably use double mat and I would give it at least two inch mat, one inch mat all the way around. It deserves to be in a bigger frame. 
but if you have a space issue, keep it in a smaller frame. Those would be great as cards, quick little gifts, or even hostess gifts. The front cover, cross stitch. Look at that stocking. I said it was on page 12. So, the penguin in the tree that I just showed you. 14 count is only four and three quarters by six and three quarters when completed. So easy to frame. You could even do it on a smaller fabric for a different size frame. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> wow, these are cute. Quite a few stockings in this one, probably because it's a Christmas. I would just change these into ornaments. What I'm finding so great about ornaments, particularly cross-stitch ornaments, you can make them however flat you want. They're lightweight, nice to ship. Is it so expensive now to ship things? Um, but it makes a great gift. Cheery and Christmas Tide antique rocking horse and i guess those are coasters i don't know if i do them as coasters i just do them as little frame pieces oh that's where it is Oh, a girlfriend of mine did this, and I, I really wanted to do it. Where are my post-its? I gotta mark it. <laughs> ah, here we go. Fuss and you shall find. One arm post-it here. Ah. Check this out. Isn't that a great red work? Shout out to Lori who did this. It's amazing when it's done. So I have to do that one. And look at that stocking. New post-it. Oh dear, oh dear. What have I done? Mm. There's my fox. Eh, not so crazy about this one. Walking in a winter wonderland. I don't know if they did the wrong fabric color or maybe they just didn't do his face very well. I do love the little ornaments. Maybe if the facial stitches were a lighter color. I think they used black. Heavy mascara, dude. And those birch trees look more like leopard skin. <laughs> Here's a nice one. So specialty stitches, which I do want to try, but I didn't tab this down because I'm just not going to do it right now. And a Christmas star. Look at that. Beautiful. What I like about this, you don't have to put it on your tree at the top. You can hang it anywhere in your house. Maybe even do it two-sided. Oh, I'm ambitious. This is beautiful. There is a silhouette of tree 
it's just not going to show up very well because it doesn't show up very well in the picture. But if you do it right, it would be a nice silhouette, a shadow almost of winter trees. Look at these guys. <laughs> I think that's about it. Oh, see, they did do the back of the star. I can't show you that page because it's got a graph on it. Oh, let me see, let me see, let me see. <clears throat> that's what they did to the back of the star. Sequins? That's a great idea. Hmm. And lots of, well, no beads on the back beads along the edge. You don't have to do beads on the edge. You can do Rick Rack, which would be really cute. But I do like the sequins. Look for it. Joyful Tidings. 2017. Probably get one on eBay. Also, if you haven't yet, go to Facebook and look for Stash and Load, because sometimes you'll find books in there, too. <laughs> I have to show you guys what I've done though. So I really like this. This is a 2006 Pumpkin Hill by the Bay Needle Art Fall. I think I can show it to you. But when I saw it in the shop, it was done on a bright orange and it was so dramatic. So I went and bought a whole bunch, hoping that I could figure out which one I'm going to like most. This is a little mustardy. This is a little really, really bright. This one might be just right. Golden Glow, 28 Count Lugana. Can't wait to open it and just feel it. This is goodgirlfabric.com, 32 count Riviera gold linen. And this is Desert Sand Wilchet, 32 count by ABC Stitch Therapy. I think it's just a little too dark. I have to pull the, pull the threads, lay them out, and commit. There are beads not going to show. If you don't like doing beads, you can do a French knot. Now can you see the beads on the trees? Maybe. Maybe not. But it's a bright orange. I think that's going to really make it pop. It's a Mill Hill Petite Glass Bead 42033. It looks like I have most everything in here, but I have to... If I haven't kitted it up yet, it means I'm missing some threads. Um, I am going to do a video on bead work on your cross stitch and a Mill Hill tutorial. I just have to figure out how to film it. I guess I'm gonna have to come up with some way to put um, the camera above my working station here, looking down, and while I'm working, you guys can see what I'm doing kind of thing. So that would be good. Here's another fun one that I'm going to do. <clears throat> I got this at Needleworkers Delight in New Jersey. It's called Quaker Flowers by Ari TM. It's 350 stitches by 149.
I don't think there's a right way to hold this. <laughs> Quaker flowers. Fantastic motifs in this. I can do some cards. But do you see what I mean? I guess you could hold it this way. I guess you could hold it this way. So maybe when one frames it, you make sure you've got a way to hang it in different directions. <laughs> Why not? Who says I can't? A lot of these I've already shown you guys in this. That's why I'm flipping through things. What I need to do is pull out one of my big Tupperware, or not Tupperware, Rubbermaid containers, and just unpack it in front of you and show you how bad things actually are here. Um, and then I have also a big basket with zippered project bags, chock-a-block full. Some other time. Until then, happy stitching. And have a great day and be safe.